Hey, everybody out there. I hope you are having a blessed, blessed Saturday. I'm so excited about this, that I'm able to share this word with you. Um, this is a prophetic word that God gave me about a week ago, and I've been sitting on it. And I keep hearing the Spirit of God rehearse it in my spirit over and over as the days go by. And so I want to share it with you, and it's very, very brief brief and it's an exciting word because it accumulates so many events that are about to happen with the body of Christ and in and through the body of Christ so I'm excited about it and I can't wait to share so about a week ago I was in prayer um just my normal prayer time with the Lord and so at this, this particular time I, I normally like to when I'm praying I like to collaborate my prayers with listening with listening and because a lot of times I know that when I'm praying, God is going to speak back. <clears throat> and so I want to also encourage you all to do the same, that when you're praying, a lot of times just sit back and listen after you get done praying so that you can hear um, God respond to some of your prayers right then and there. Because God speaks and he speaks fast, too. The Bible says that he sent his word and his word ran swiftly. And heal them and deliver them from their destruction. So he speaks fast. He speaks fast. He responds very, very quickly. And so there's many scriptures that I can give you on that. But um, so this particular morning, um, I was praying in the prayer time with the Lord was very intense. And I could feel the spirit realm getting very intense. But my intimacy with God also sensitive. And so when I was praying this morning, I heard God say, he says, son, this is a season and I need to let you um, need to tell you to let my church know that this is a season of fire and wind. This is a season of fire and wind. And I was like, my God, I was like, OK, God, I said, God, can you give me an example? He said, son, I want to bring you to a, a, a draw a conclusion in your spirit. He says, when you're barbecuing or when anybody is barbecuing and they set the fire on the grill, um, how does the fire continue to blaze or continue to cook the meat? I said, okay, I said, first of all, they, they blaze the fire and the fire comes up. And after the fire goes down, they use the wind. My God, they use the wind to keep the fire blazing, to keep the fire ignited so the meat can continue to cook. So I want to give you a conclusion in your spirit. What season we are in. We are in the season of fire and wind. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2 says that there was a fire of clothing tongues that sat upon them and in the room it came a rushing mighty wind, my Lord. So this is the season where God, he said he already told them in, in Matthew, uh, Luke, and then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was in Mark as well, all through those gospels. He says, I will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And if you look in the, about toward the end, John 18, or maybe even John 15, um, the Bible says that Jesus breathed upon his disciples. And the same goes for Adam. Same thing happened with Adam. God breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul. And so what am I saying to you? I'm saying that this is the hour where he's restoring Adam, not only in the family, because he restored Adam back in the family too. Me and my um, me and my apostle was actually talking about that. There's a great series on that as well with my apostle speaking about that, restoring Adam back in the family. But he's also restoring Adam to his original purpose, his original nature. Is when, when God breathed into him, he walked with the breath of God on the inside of him. God is restoring his people back to where and when he uses them, just as it was in the days of Ezekiel, that he's, he, he's desiring us to be able to prophesy to the four winds of heaven, to breathe, to breathe, because to release the breath of God in this hour, to walk in the fire and the liberation of his spirit. This is a season where God is going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire, and you will walk with the breath of God on the inside of you. That everybody that comes into contact with you, they're going to receive the breath of God on their life. Whether if their dreams are dead, it only, it only takes the breath of God to awaken them. See, some, see, see, here's the thing. Some of you, some of you might be dead in certain areas of your life, but the only thing you're missing is the breath of God. The breath of God is what makes you alive, is what quickens you. 
Yeah, the breath of God is what quickens you. The Ruach, and it's, it's the breath of God that makes you alive again. Yeah, we are in the season where God is releasing his breath upon our dreams. He's releasing his breath upon our vision. He's releasing his breath upon our purposes. He's releasing his breath in our spirit again. Yeah, the Bible says that when Ezekiel was standing over the valley and he saw these dry bones, and he says, he, and God asked him, Ezekiel, can these dry bones live again? He says, God, you only you and only you know that. He says, Ezekiel, I want you to do something. I want you to prophesy to the four winds of heaven to breathe upon these dry bones. And when he breathed upon those dry bones, they came alive again. I speak that. I prophesy that into your spirit. You coming alive again. You, you, your All hope is not lost for you. You coming alive again. Yeah, your purpose is not dead. It's coming alive again. Yeah, your calling has not run dry. It's coming alive again. Yeah, your gifts are not dormant. Your gifts are not have not been murdered by the enemy. Yeah, they're coming alive. I prophesy to your gift. I prophesy the fire of God is going to rekindle those gifts. The Bible says stir up the gifts that are within you that were given to you by the laying on my hand. Now that word stir in the Greek, right? That actually means to rekindle a fire. My God. Yeah. God is coming to rekindle a fire within your soul, a burning fire within your spirit all over again. Yeah. You, you're being awakened right now. As I speak to you, I, I prophesy your mind is being awakened. Your creativity is coming alive again. Yeah. God is going to speak to your heart. Yeah. Some of your hearts in the spirit have died, but, but, but I prophesy out to your heart that it's coming alive again in Jesus name. The breath, I release the breath of God upon your life. I, re I release the breath of God upon your vision. Yeah, you are awakening right now in Jesus name. Your kids are coming alive. Yeah, your marriage is going to come back alive again. I prophesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're, you're, some of you are pastoring right now and you're on the edge of giving up, but I prophesy you're being awakened. Yeah, God is going to speak to you. Oh my God, with it. Oh, yeah, God is speaking to you right now. Yeah, I speak to your life right now that you're coming alive right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, God is going to speak to you. And I pray that I pray in this season of your life, you're going to walk with the breath of God embedded on the inside of you. Yeah, you're not just going to be on fire, but God is going to keep you on fire by the breath, the Ruach, Akadesh. Is going to be with you and in you. And wherever you go, breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah, this is a season to breathe. The breath of God is coming upon you. Breathe. Yeah, God, I pray that you will breathe upon your people. I release the fire of God upon your people right now. God, there are some people's bodies right now that are aching. Some people's backs right now are, are in pain. But I speak, I speak life. I speak, I speak res restoration to your back right now. That your, your, your body is being prosperous all over again. Your health is coming into alignment with his word. I send the word of God right now to you. Just as the centurion soldier said that you just only speak speak a word. Yeah, my servant will be healed. I speak. I speak right now that word of healing to you and your family, your mother, your your father, your children, your aunts, your uncles, your cousin is coming alive again. Yeah, he will no longer sell drugs, but he's coming alive. His spirit is coming back alive again. In Jesus mighty name. God bless you. This is a season of fire and wind. God bless you.